gang, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, as you can imagine, I'm out in nature. Da -da 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 -da. And I just wanted to just discuss um, a hobby of mine that I feel that would be really useful for people who, just for anyone in general, really, um, but especially anyone that's doing the Nutrition Balancing Program. Uh, my hobby really is to reconnect with the land and just to, just to learn about the land. Um, I get a lot of joy from it, I get a lot of fulfilment from it. Um, but what I've done tonight is I've come out um, on what I like to call a nature walk. And basically what I will do is I'll come out and if there's a plant um, or an animal or an insect that I don't recognise, then I try and ID it. Um, and you know, it's, uh, it's really cool, it gets you out of your head, you're out looking at the different plants, different animals, different insects, and I will use various different apps on my phone, so you know, it's one of the benefits of technology. There's a really cool app called iNaturalist uh, that I use, so basically you can take, take a picture of the plant or the insect or the animal or the mushroom, and you can upload it to, uh, to a community and they ID it for you, so it's really cool. Um, I also like, whenever I check out a plant, I also look at its uses. So I check out whether it's edible, I check out whether it's medicinal, I have a look at the folklore behind it. And it's really interesting that every plant uh, has a background, has a history. Um, it might be poisonous. Um, but yeah, just wanted to update you um, on on kind of a really cool way of just being out in nature, healing yourself, get to know your land. You know, I also use Google Image Search. It's pretty cool to ID different things. So you can take a picture and Google will use its search engine to try and find similar images. That's a good way of doing things. I've got a, an app on my phone from the National Trust in England, which is a plant identification app. Um, oh, there's a really cool app called Plant Snap, which you can take a picture of a plant and it does a really, really good job at IDing it. Uh, so I use that. <coughs> so yeah, my uh, my ne my new kind of project is trying to become uh, self-sufficient as possible. Um, I've recently um, made some new body wash out of rosemary, which was really cool. Um, I've made some um, laundry cleaner out of uh, bracken which was really cool. So all these obviously non-toxics coming from the land, it's free, um, healthy. The next on my list is uh, there's a lot of rabbits around this area. So I'm going to try and harvest some rabbits to eat. They're not the best food to eat on a nutrition balancing program, but they, you know, they are okay. So I'm going to try and get some, some, um, some rabbits soon, which should be interesting. But anyway, the main thing I wanted to just to tell you about is, you know, it's a really good way of getting out of your head, being in nature, getting to know your land. Um, and at the end of the day, there's that much out here that people are not aware of. You can get most of your stuff for free. You know, it's not really about earning money, but it's about reconnecting with, with God and, um, and, the, and your landscape around you. It's the best way I've found of kind of uh, being closer to God. Um, is being out in nature, so it's really cool. Good, good, good way to end the day. All right, gang. So yeah, if you've got any questions or anything like that, send me an email, Lewis at dphealingspace.com. I'll catch you soon.